hey everyone and welcome to another video of a playlist in which i will show you 30 css properties in 30 days and in this video i will show you grid area okay so what is grid area we will see before starting this video hit the like button and if you are new subscribe to techie web dev and press all notifications so you will never miss any future videos now let's continue with our topic all right so let's start without wasting any more time so as you can see here in our website we have some elements okay six boxes and which have different background colors and they have number on them one to six okay so the css of that is there okay so before starting grid okay uh, the like the advantage of grid area is to you can create complex structures in your website okay you can create a complex layout so like for example let's say you want like the orange box from like starting from here till here then the second box uh, like starting from here then goes till the bottom so like that okay so we will see how to do that so first of all before starting let me show you uh, like for every element okay for every like single box i have defined a grid area so let's say the first one okay which is the one box which is the orange one so you can like you have to give this okay you have to write this which is grid area and write anything okay anything you want okay so i have written here li1 okay so it is something like id which will help us to grab the orange box later okay so i have done the same for all the boxes okay all the elements so you also have to do this okay so like li4 li5 li6 you can write anything here okay so remember to write this grid area to each element okay now in our container okay in our container the main thing will start which is let's start which is grid template areas okay so this is the like property which will help us to create complex layout so first of all to use it you have to write in semicolons and let's say uh, uh, like in this inside this we have to write the code which I have given here okay the grid area so li1 which is for the first one let's say li2 li3 li4 li5 li6 so if i will save it as you can see here now all the elements are in a single row and they are all taking same space okay now see what will happen if i will write three li1s in a row as you can see here there are three li1s and the rest of them are here okay so if i will save it you can see the li the first one okay the first one is now taking three times more the space of these one okay so this is how like you can change the like space cat area of the element okay and let's now see more complexity okay so if i will just comment this uh, like uh, copy this down and if i'll just remove this like there are three li ones here and let's add mo one more li2 now here i will write uh, let's say li3 uh, one more li3 then li4 li4 and another one you can add as many lines as you want okay as many rows as you want now let's say li5 and uh, let's say li6 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 Okay, so all the elements are now set so let's save it and take a look so as you can see here like how complex it is looking okay so if you will take a look the first row is three li ones and then one li2 and then the second one is two li3 and two li4 then the third one is one li5 and uh, three li6 okay so this is how it will take space to make it look even more good i will add some gap okay which i have told you in previous video 
so yeah there we go it is looking more beautiful now before ending this video i want to show you one more property like in this grid area only okay so if you want to add some empty space okay you don't want any of these elements in between so for example if i will just remove this li1 from here and to add an empty space you just want to write you just have to write a dot okay so now if i will save it so as you can see here instead of that orange box an empty space is there okay so that's how you can create an empty space and let's say here also like here also i want an empty space so yeah there you go there is an empty space here okay so this is how like you can create an empty space and there are many ways to use this grid area okay you can create complex layouts okay so yeah that's it for this video guys i will see you in the next one Thank <laughs> you.